So I spent two years in the hospital, which is really unusual, I feel. So well, it I'm is. It's almost like uh, up to a certain age, it's like you have a different family. You have a different exactly. you know, paternal and maternal bond with with probably everybody. This is fascinating. Not, It's very sad. It's uh-huh. a horrible situation. But at the same time, I can see the benefit of having so many people that care because if they kept you there, that meant that they really cared. Exactly. And also, I was because it had been so long, I was put in the foster care system. And, but they didn't have a place for me because I had a breathing machine and all this stuff. So probably when I was two and a half or whatever, they had built a medical group home. And I was going to be their first resident. And what happened was during my two-year stay, there was a respiratory therapist there named Regina that would take care of me. And long story short, when she found out I was going to go into the system. She became a foster parent. So I wouldn't have to be in the system. What an so amazing human. She she and her husband, shout out to Ernest, my dad. He, um, They took me in. They already had three kids that were in their late teens, early 20s. So here I come. I was spoiled. Oh, my God. I was spoiled. But without them, I would have gone into a group home. 